Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. I get to talk about um, some of my favorite things uh, this morning, branding and business building. Branding and business building. Let me see if I can catch this and mm, should I share it out? I'm just going to leave it uh, as it is. Hey there, it's your first day on Periscope. Welcome to Periscope land. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. So I moved a little less than a year ago now. And uh, my daughter's, I mean, like completely, <laughs> you know, just moved to a different city um, about a year ago now. And my daughter's in a new school district, you know, the whole nine. And one of the things I've been doing lately, um, borrow some, borrow some, borrows home warranty. Oh, okay. Good morning. How are you, Johnny? Gosh, there's a lot of people first timers on Periscope. Good morning. How are you? Um, so I moved to a, a different city, and so recently, it's been a little less than a year now. But recently, I've been going out into the local community. And, you know, meeting some of the business owners and simply, you know, uh, bringing brand awareness uh, to my brand for the community that I'm in. And one particular incident, uh, I went in and this particular business, uh, it was a service based business. And so the young lady, her phone rang at least six times in a 30 minute time frame. Now, I was in there longer than I anticipated because you know, our conversation just actually went there. And one of the things she said when uh, we started talking was, God must have sent you because I needed help because I felt, um, I felt like overloaded. <clears throat> like I needed another level of, of order. And so in that, this is where, what I find with many of the clients that I work with. So a lot of the clients who come to me don't necessarily need more revenue at that moment. You know, they're in a comfortable space, but what they actually find is that they have a lot of customers or a lot of things that they're wanting to do and they need a sense of order to it, like new systems. They're ready to expand or to grow. And this was the case with this young lady. I actually uh, because it was, she had customers coming in. Of course, the phone was ringing. Now, the phone rang about six times in a 30-minute time frame, and she had to tell each person that she couldn't take them. She had to t tell each person that she was booked. Now, that doesn't seem like a really huge problem, but what happens over time, um, even if we're in a space of comfort as far as our finances, eventually... Uh, the overwhelm starts to flow over into our business and into our brand. So one of the things I was able to do for her quickly, um, she actually purchased my new hire bundle. And uh, for those of you who may be wondering what that is, I'm not going to go into detail about what that is, but you can go to RenewfulCircle.com on the Work With Me tab for Tanya and it's under shop. And the thing about that particular item is, I am rebranding, which fits what we're talking about. Well, I have rebranded. Um, so that particular item will <clears throat> be rebranded soon. But what it will give her is some order, you know, to what she has going on. And I find oftentimes uh, some of the lack of clarity or the lack of growth in our business is because we lack order. And order has a whole lot to do with our capacity you know, our capacity to grow. So capacity is the maximum amount something can contain. So let's think about it as it relates to your business. So maybe you're at the point where you've maxed out. That was me. I realized that I, could know, I couldn't service any more clients. It was only 24 hours in the day. Uh, the only, I, at the time, right? This has been some years ago now, many years ago now. Um, my thing was, well, maybe if I do another service or, but I had to say, hey, wait a minute, regardless of how many different services you offer, it's still only 24 hours in the day. And so I was actually working more because my hands were in so many different things. I had to have my focus on being able to provide so many different things. And that was the space where I stepped into ownership, where I actually um, 
owned a brick and mortar service based business for 10 years because I knew that in order to, to reach my new income goals, I needed a staff. I needed someone else who could duplicate processes. Um, I needed some other form of, of revenue. And the brick and mortar business uh, gave me the, the opportunity to do that. But now many of you have the opportunity to create new revenue streams right online, right? You can create another revenue stream and sell it online without even having to do that from your brick and mortar space, which also um, helps so much. But when we're thinking about branding our business and building our business, we also have to think from a space of capacity. So on this morning, I'm going to, I'm going to share five principles to expand your capacity. Five principles to expand your capacity. Um, for those of you who've never been on a live broadcast with me before, where on earth have you been? I've been waiting for you. Um, I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I'm a growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women service-based business owners um, and aspiring coaches who just want to go to the next level in their business. They're ready to grow. They're ready to bring more brand awareness, um, brand clarity to their business. Many, uh, many of the business owners I work with are in a space of expansion where they're ready to grow and they just need to put some order to it. So I focus on branding, building, and profiting in uh, my processes with my clients. And I work from a three-point perspective, uh, meaning I focus on abundance mindset because our thinking like we only really go some of the capacity that's needed for us in our brand is limited by our thinking i'm, I'm going to talk about that in one of the ways to or, or the five principles to expand your capacity for your brand right to to grow your brand even more but i teach abundance mindset principles because 80 percent of what you do is based on your thinking and your mind, this thing right here, has a lot to do with your money and everything else that you set out to do. I also fo focus on personal growth. We're going to talk about that, okay? And then uh, and business building strategies as well. So my clients getting clear on who they are as a brand really allows them to soar in ways that they weren't able to do before. Now, how many of you know that... Um, Social media can be a great thing, and it can also be a distraction. If you know that, put, put me in the comments. Social media can be a great thing, but it can also be a distraction. In one way, it can be a distraction because you can get on social media and end up scrolling for hours, right? Unaware that you've even been on that long and then bypassing some of the things that you really wanted to do, whether it was work on your business or something in your personal life, it can be a distraction. But one of the biggest ways I find that social media is a huge distraction is because so many people change their brand all the time. So things that impact how, and, and for, for uh, the training's sake, your brand is how the marketplace sees you. So every time we add a new title, uh, a new service, um, you know, our messaging changes, our story changes. Every time we do that, we are like, it's part of building our brand. And so oftentimes I see where uh, entrepreneurs will add, you know, maybe another title about what it is that they do or what they offer. And now the clients that may have been following them before aren't sure if that person can even help them anymore. And I'm gonna use myself as a personal example. So I recently, maybe around March, uh, changed my brand. I didn't make any announcements. Um, I felt completely and fully led to, to rebrand. And I feel the best that I've ever felt. Because one, when I opened my, when I started Renew Full Circle Consulting, uh, that was in 2012. So if you think about the title in itself, it's Renew Full Circle So For Your Life and Business. But I had gone on a track where I was, one, uh, really, really focusing on business, and two, not in the capacity that I knew I should be operating in. And so I was earning money in that other in the other space that I was doing, 
but it wasn't authentically, it didn't feel authentic to me because I wasn't operating in the full capacity of who I was as a brand. Um, some of my titles changed, growth strategy, strategies changed, um, and titles are important, right? It's not important that you necessarily have uh, big titles behind your name or anything of that nature, but they're important because they need to fit who you actually are. And what I find is that many people are just putting titles behind their name. Maybe they saw someone else with the title and they felt it sounded good or they liked it, but your capacity, right? Um, also makes a difference in being able to really um, flow in that particular title, because this is what your audience is looking for you to uh, be an expert at doing. For instance, you know, many people may put a uh, business coach, uh, behind their name, but they've never owned a business. They've never owned a business. And I'm not saying that we can't teach from that perspective, um, but there may be a, another title about your greatness that would actually serve you more than that particular title. What I find is um, many people do not value what it is that they're great at. They look at the thing that they do really, really good, so small, right? They um, they just don't understand the value in their unique things so much so that they're constantly changing what it is they do or who it is they say they are. And it's not their authentic makeup. It's not their you know particular lane. So five principles uh, that will help you in expanding your brand. One is expanding your circle of responsibility. Two is um, compassion, right? Compassion. Three is expanding your character. Uh, four, expanding your thinking. And then five is assessing what you have. I'm going to start with um, accessing what you have, uh, simply because we were kind of briefly talking about titles and the things that sometimes we feel we have to put behind our brand that really aren't who we are. It really is in our area of expertise or what we're great at necessarily. And because we are, you know, adding these different things, um, the marketplace has to see that in you. And so they'll see if that's an area that you do really well um, by what you're posting and sharing. Um, and then the results that your clients are getting too, because results still matter they matter, right? So although we may have specific titles, results at the end of the day that your customers are getting, it matters. It makes a huge difference in the social proof that you need for your brand. So um, I believe that people are overlooking their true gifts. They're overlooking their true gifts. They're undervaluing what they already have. So many of you have something just so special already within you that you do well, that you may want to, um, you know, cultivate and grow more, but it's actually your thing. And when you get clear on that, it will help you to define what it is that you should be dedicating your time, your energy, your resource, resources, and your money to cultivating in order to grow that. So one of the things I've, I've always stated about branding is that it's not your logos, pretty pics, or websites that actually determines your brand. It happens long before we ever, you know, create those things. There's something special um, on the inside of you. And if you value, if you really uh, take the time to get brand clarity and, and gain a new level of value about what you already have, what you're great at, the chase will slow down, the distractions will lesson because when you get really clear on that you're not as inundated about everything that you may see everyone else doing uh so oftentimes and I, guys we're so amazing as entrepreneurs and business owners and people are really doing some really amazing stuff they really are they're operating in you know tons of, of gifts or talents um that they have but each of you has something very unique and so I want to challenge you to not be distracted by what you see other people doing. I believe that there's something so unique on the inside of you. And when you learn to value that on a new level, when you can get clear on what that is, it identifies who you are as a brand 
it helps you in every area. It helps you in your marketing and attracting your perfect people, whether they're clients or team that's going to help you build the business. That level of clarity, um, it helps tremendously. So accessing what you have is one of the principles to you know growing your brand and building your business is recognizing what's my thing what is it that i'm good at what is it that i'm called to do who am i called to support how am i called to support specific people in in the marketplace and i want you to not diminish your greatness right so when you when you get a hold of that thing that god has placed on the inside of you the chasing stops, the, the switching lane stops um, so often. Um, so maybe you'll hear someone who shares a good idea and then now that's what you do. But can do you have the capacity to be able to actually serve the client with that thing that all of a sudden you now say, you know, that you do? And oftentimes we, we don't, you know, when we're adding all these different things because our capacity is in a completely different lane. And when you find that lane, guys, everything will shift um, for you. Expanding your thinking, that's another principle um, to expand your capacity. So remember I said capacity is the maximum um, amount something can contain. I was sharing with you guys that uh, one business owner in particular, she had already reached her capacity for what she was currently doing. And what was happening for her, she shared, she was like, I prayed for some help. Um, she's like, I'm, I'm busy, so busy. And I know her phone was every five minutes. How many of you would like for your phone to ring every five minutes with people wanting to have services with you? That may be the case, uh, for some of you. And while I was there, I was like, this is a gold mine. I could see so much potential and possibility. Um, but as she explained, she just needed a new level of order to be able to maintain at that next level. And I think order is so important because uh, oftentimes we have gifts and we have talents and uh, there is a lot that we can do, but the order allows us to do it in a way, um, one that's integral, uh, two that allows the things that the opportunities and things that are coming our way to actually be expansive in our lives instead of overwhelming. Because sometimes because we, one, are visionaries, many of you, many entrepreneurs are, are visionaries, we're often, you know, um, we see so much opportunity. You know, opportunity just comes our way all the time. But if we don't get a, a level of order, braids galore, good morning, how are you? Um, if we don't get a level of order for all of the opportunities and things that we're wanting to do, they have a way of diminishing everything. Like it'll tear everything else down. So order is so important when you're wanting to operate at new levels of capacity and just assuring that what you have, um, the opportunities that are coming before you, you have the capacity, whether it's in your business systems, in your, your character, and whatever it is, whether you have the capacity to actually maintain that thing. So uh, next I said, what did I say next? I don't know if I said anything next, but expand your thinking. Expanding your thinking is one of the ways to expand your capacity for your brand to do, have, and be more. And I say that this connects to understanding what your unique thing is, what your greatness is, because <clears throat> many of you, for instance, if I was a fly on the wall in the in one of the businesses that I've recently been visiting, because I can see expansion for them, you know, and I'm seeing, they can't see, sometimes uh, they can't even see the possibility, right? They can't see the possibility. And that's all because of what we're thinking. Sometimes we've been doing things so routinely. And when it's time to go to a new level, we may do new things, but we're still doing it from old capacity, right? From old, um, you know, maybe an old system that you're using in your business or old thought process that you were using about how even to bring clients in. And I'll use this for an example. So everybody been talking about Popeye's and Chick-fil-A. And I saw a pastor preaching a message 
on it. And I was like, we are so creative because we can preach on Popeye's and Chick-fil-A. But one of the things she said was, um, and hers was more so on, <laughs> hers was more so on, um, you know, people copying other people or things of that nature. But what I took from it was most oftentimes when we're in a space of, um, like comparison where we're like, oh, I'm going to add this to my title, you know, because I saw that, or I'm going to do this thing here. When we get in that space, uh, sometimes we don't realize that even if we were to take on that new thing, do we have the capacity to actually fulfill it? Do you guys get that? So she was saying that Popeye's was really, really, really busy, but Chick-fil-A been doing this. That's who Chick-fil-A is. And so Chick uh, Popeye's couldn't handle the long lines, but Chick-fil-A, because they were operating at their capacity, right? It's nothing for them. Nothing changed about Chick-fil-A's business. You know, they maybe got more business, but, but because they had systems in place that could handle that capacity, they were able to move on with business as possible. Whereas she said Popeye's was running out of chicken right? So capacity. Now the thing about capacity too, I want you guys to know that we can enlarge our capacity. We can, you can enlarge your capacity. You can enlarge your ability to operate at the next level, to do it differently, um, to become more, which is um, one of the hashtags I've been using lately to uh, represent a, a workshop that I'm offering for women in business in Raleigh, North Carolina, October 6th. I'll talk a little more about that, but capacity. And I, I just want more uh, business owners and entrepreneurs to know that they have something really, really valuable to the point where um, they don't have to get distracted and, and get themselves in comparison mode, comparing what they have to someone else and feeling like, oh, I need to do this or, oh, I need to do that. Your brand clarity is going to be everything. Understanding your unique superpowers is going to be huge for you. And we can always enlarge our capacity. So when we get to the point where, you know, everything is flowing here and, and we can operate on that level, then we increase and expand our capacity. But what often happens is we make attempts to expand our capacity before we've actually uh, gotten to a space where we can operate you know, at that level. And so expanding our thinking, remember, we, we often aren't aware of what's available because of our thinking. So there are some people whose capacity doesn't change because they don't understand that there is actually more for them. There's another way that they can do it. Um, that's what I do. Awesome. 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 Uh, so expanding your, your thinking about, um, you compare yourself. Oh no, I said awesome, but I didn't mean to say awesome. I didn't know you were going to say comparing yourself. You have something that nobody else has, braids galore. No, there's not another person on this earth that will be able to do it the way that you do it. There's something unique um, that God just downloaded inside you that no one else will be able to do the way that you've done it. Many of you have a vision that God gave you that you've moved away from because you got in the comparison trap right? You started looking at what everyone else was doing. And, you know, most of it, what I see is a lot of people following followers. That's what I see. And what happens is we get, everything looks the same. Everything sounds the same. I mean, it just, right. And so I want you guys to spend some time, like letting God, like re-clarify your vision for you. Right? Many of you moved away from what you originally felt in your heart that you were supposed to do or that you desired to do um, because of, yes, I do. Um, it's Tanya, I think it's Tanya Wilson Cherry. I don't keep up. <laughs> yeah, Google Tanya Wilson Cherry. It'll come up. Okay, awesome. You found it already? Yes. So allow God to, you know, just spend a little time and get really clear, you know, on that that vision revisit the vision that god gave you one of the things i did with my mastermind members so i host a mastermind where i work with um women service-based business owners and aspiring coaches for an entire year kind of like an incubator to gr gain clarity get brand strategies you know and increase their income and one of the things i we did is we purged 
from social media for a number of days. Now, of course, we're, you know, people are running their business, you know, daily, they're marketing their business, but um, we didn't purge in that way, but we just decided that for that specific amount of time, the only thing that we were going to do as far as social media was concerned was to post for our business. And if we could schedule something in advance, we would definitely do that. But we were intentional about the time that we spent on social media. And the response from my mastermind members after we did that was so powerful. Everyone felt fresh. They felt clear. They felt more aligned with what it is that they were doing. Because guys, no matter how... Um, much we've cultivated a certain part of either our emotional intelligence or our ability to focus when something is brought before you over and over and over again you're going to absorb some of it and this is why people are sounding like other people and looking like other people because they're absorbing other people's stuff all the time and it causes their vision to become diluted so i want you guys to expand one, you're thinking about um, what's possible with the thing that's really, really unique um, for you. Expanding your circle. This is the next principle. If you want to expand your capacity, you have to expand your circle. So I'll use the same you know, business owner that I uh, stopped by her business um, recently. One of the first things she said as we began talking, she was like, I pray for help. I prayed for help. Now, you know, she wasn't my client. We were just kind of talking, but should she have been uh, someone that I was mentoring, I would have said, well, we pray for help and then we go and access the help. Because sometimes we'll pray for help, but we don't do the work part. We don't actually reach out to the people that we feel can actually help us. It's kind of like we're waiting on the opportunity that she had on yesterday too. But her prayer probably just met my prayer because I said, God just send me to businesses who need my help, you know, who would find what I offer um, valuable and allow us to establish a relationship. So maybe her prayer met my prayer, but sometimes I feel when we're praying and waiting, we're putting our destiny on hold. We're putting our growth on hold. It's just too many people that are available for us to connect with when we're really, really ready um, to get some help. We take on the responsibility of actually reaching out um, to someone for help. So um, expanding your circle. Guys, when we are the smartest person in the group, when we're the smartest person in the room, it makes us so stagnant. We become stagnant because what it does, what it creates in our mind is that we're doing real good, which is, you know, probably true, but it limits the ability to grow because we're looking at all the people around us and we're comparing. We're like, well, I'm doing good compared to, and then our, our thinking is limited because we don't understand that there's another space, another place to evolve in because we're the smartest person in the room. And so another challenge for you is to go in spaces you wouldn't ordinarily go to right? Visit places you wouldn't ordinarily visit. Take a course that's not in your particular industry um, that you wouldn't ordinarily take, right? And this is expanding your circle. So there's no desire to grow when you feel like you're already at the top. And this is what happens when we're the smartest person in the room, right? Um, and then, you know, I just think mentors are invaluable. I probably went to about maybe seven businesses on in one day day's time frame and nobody had a mentor and I saw the most room I saw I mean I could walk in and say man if this was this way or you know where where are the clients it was just so many things that I saw potential for and I think um when we get into you know our grind one of the questions I was asking was, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? And, you know, some said, you know, I hadn't really thought about that. And they may have been doing whatever they were doing for years, but that's um, expanding our thinking, right? Because when we're thinking about what we want to be doing in the next five years, it now creates a space between where we are and where we desire to be. And then it causes us to step into new spaces of expansion. We start looking at new opportunities because we're like, okay, well, what I'm doing now, this was my thought. This is, it, this is the exact 
conversation that happened for me. And just about every time, well, not as much now because I plan so much further out, but every time in the past, I would look at where I was and I was like, and I would see where I wanted to be. And I was like, well, what you're doing right now, that's, that's not going to get you there. And it helped to direct um, what I did, who I did it with, and where I decided to go. It changed all of that. So take some time to think about, you know, what I'm doing right now, the way that I'm doing it, and the results that I'm getting, is this what I would like in the next five years? And that if the answer is no, then you got you, you have to create a bigger vision. That vision is going to cause you to expand your circle because you're going to start realizing that, hmm, I don't even really have anybody that could help me, you know, move into that new space. You guys get that? So expand your circle. If you want to expand your capacity, expand your character. Now, sometimes when we hear character, it sounds hard, guys, right? Because we always look at character as a negative thing. But I believe that I believe that the things that we're doing, learning and growing in are not just for us. They're not just for us. So whatever it is we face, maybe it seems to be, you know, coming in circles in our life, like cycles, like I've been here before. Why is this still, you know, showing up? Um, those are really opportunities for us to grow. And one of the things my personal experience with God is regardless of where I desire to be, he only allows me to grow to the measure that I have the capacity to be there. And I mean, I feel like it's God's protection. I don't know about you guys. But what we desire and what we actually have the capacity to do, you know, it's just sometimes two different things. And this is where our character, you know, comes into play because God is like, okay, well, if I put you over there, you know, are you going to have the character, the integrity, the um, habits, you know, those things to be able to maintain over there? Because many people get so overwhelmed and consumed because they're operating in spaces they don't yet have the capacity for or that don't align with their uniqueness, right? Their their greatness, their value. And and I want you guys, you know, I, I shared that one of the five things was um, expanding our uh, compassion. When you begin to understand that what you're doing in your entire life, your life, your business, Everything that you do impacts someone else. Everything you do and don't do, somebody else is always impacted by it. And, and I believe that our capacity is expanded when we expand our compassion. When we understand that all the moves we make are impacting someone else, it causes us to look at what we're doing differently. It causes us to be more cautious. It causes us to be more intentional right about the things that we do so i feel when you expand your compassion you are putting yourself in a space to expand your capacity for your brand or, or the business that you're building um, because you have to know that whatever god is wanting to do in you through you is actually not just for you it's for other people as well right it's how we'll show up and impact people in the world so um when we allow god to expand <clears throat> us, right? We also give him an opportunity to uh, expand our capacity. So those are five things that um, you can do to expand your capacity. Um, I don't, oh, okay. I didn't touch bases on this, but expanding your circle of responsibility. And that kind of goes in with um, compassion because we just realized that um, many of you are responsible for something really, really major and you just aren't aware of that yet. Um, it's really connected to your greatness. And, and when we realize that what we're carrying, maybe some of the things that we've endured or we've learned um, or we've become really, really good at, when we understand that we have a responsibility uh, to maybe share that with someone else, to impact someone else's life with it, um, it changes how we look at what we do daily and it puts us in a position to expand our brands and the capacity of our brands because we see, okay, you know, this is not just about me going and doing this thing over and over and over again, same routine every day. 
I have something valuable that others need. And so it now puts you in a different uh, position, right? I share with you guys often that everyone is a leader, but a great leader is a great person first, right? And then they become uh, a great leader. And part of us becoming a great person is understanding that the gifts and things that we have, they aren't just for us. All of you building a business, whatever, you got a product, you got a service that you provide. Um, I know we feel like it might be for just that customer, but I believe that it's bigger than that. And when you step into a new space of expansion about your thinking and possibility, um, you actually move into a space where um, your brand expands because what you do, uh, your, the actions that you take, they become different. For those of you who'd like to connect with me further, thank you for following me on Instagram. You guys can put Tanya Wilson Cherry in the search box. It may say growth strategist um, at the top. Uh, you can reach me at renewfullcircle.com. Uh, for those of you who are ready to step into a new space of expansion, I host a um, workshop about once a year, allowing people an opportunity to uh, allow me to support them further in their business. And I have one coming up October the 6th. I'm going to do a little house business before I close out uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's called Becoming More. It's for women in business who, you know, they want more. I'm going to walk you guys through a tool that I created called the Growth Funnel. And it walks you through the three stages of growth. And you can kind of say, oh, okay, this is where I'm at. But it also helps you to see... Um, what action steps you need to take in order to get to that next stage. I find that, so right after the growth stage, there's a stage called expansion. And many people, if they don't step into expansion, they step into decline. And it's my mission to just bring a level of awareness so that most people, more people are expanding instead of bowing out, right? Um, and bowing out often happens because we haven't, we don't have the capacity for the next level. Not a bad thing. It's just sometimes we're not aware that, oh, all I needed was a different level of order or um, some new systems or a new thought process about what it is that I'm doing. And that helps to increase my capacity so I can actually do what's, what's at the next level. So we're expanding our circle of responsibility, understanding that your gifts, right? They're great gifts. And they're bigger than just you. There's somebody else that really, really needs what you have. Um, and it may not be that thing, that talent thing that you're doing right now. Um, and this is why I walk my clients through brand clarity so they can get really, really clear on who, are, who they are as a brand. And then they soar, right? Many of my clients would rather not even be on social media other than their business um, because they're doing other stuff, right? Um but just recognizing that you have something really great and really amazing and figuring out what your thing is, expanding our character allows God to expand our capacity. And so it may be habits or some small things that we're doing and we don't even realize it, right? That are not allowing us to get to the next level, expanding our thinking, um, thinking bigger, thinking greater, thinking more uh, that's possible for you, expanding your circle, right? We can't always be the smartest person in Rome. Not if we want to um, increase the capacity in our lives and, and in our brand and move out of comparison, guys. Get out of comparison. Yeah, it'll help you to focus tremendously. tremendously. Um, your profits will change. Uh, you won't be as confused about um, what it is that you're actually supposed to be doing you know, with your brand and your business. But that's my take on today, guys. You guys have a super, super amazing day. Renewfullcircle.com slash becoming more is the website for the workshop that I'm hosting in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, for those of you who might have been interested in the new hire bundle, it's going to give you quite a bit, a measure of order if you're needing a new level of order for your um, your business. And that's being rebranded, but for now, it's still available uh, you can also go to RenewFullCircle.com, the Work with Tanya tab, and there's a space that says Shop and Products. You guys have a super day. Uh, are there any questions before I log off? Any questions? No questions? Okay, for those of you who may be impacted by the storm, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, I think maybe some parts of Georgia, be safe, get you some water, fill your tank up, pack you a... 
emergency, you know, suitcase and um, keep the prayers flowing up. I, I hear that it's dying down. So I'm hoping that it dies all the way down because I'm in North Carolina. Uh, but be safe. Okay. You guys have an amazing day. Peace.